Hello everybody, uh, my name is Alf Ingevang, I'm a professor in game technology. I'm here to present uh, BitPet. So the vision for BitPet is basically to reduce social and physical inactivity uh, globally and on a large scale. So my background, I'm a professor. So this started out as a research study on uh, extra games and also sp uh, specifically on Pokemon Go. And we want to do kind of the same thing, but we want to have a stronger attachment to the digital pets. So just to put it simply, the inspiration for BitFed is Tamagotchi, Pokemon Go, and Nintendo. So how many of you know all these games? Some of you? OK, cool. So now I will give the word to Matthias, and he will explain what the game is all about. Thank you. My name is Matthias, I am the CEO and co-founder, so I will now guide you through what we have developed so far uh, in BitPet. And we have a background music that he composed. <laughs> so this is the home base where your pet lives. Uh, it's a 3D environment where you can interact with your animals. And so I have a fox, a wolf and a rabbit. And, but you start with one pet and here you can select different pets and interact with them. For example, by petting your animal, and it will increase its happiness, and you also get uh, pet points for uh, petting. And you can also, now you see he's uh, happy, but he's kind of hungry, so let's feed him something, like a banana. You can also style up your pet with accessories, such as sunglasses, uh, sweaters, uh, or even some cool shoes. <laughs> These are uh, accessories that you unlock as you progress in the game. And it's also uh, how we will monetize uh, the game primarily. And it's also the feature that was most requested by our early subscribers uh, in the game. And you can also move around in your home base and uh, dig up uh, treasure. So I'm digging up something here and I found a key. <laughs> And another key. <laughs> I will show you how to use them later. Uh, we also have builder mode, so you can customize your home base. Uh, I'm planting some flowers to make it look really nice. And you see the stars in the top? Uh, it represents your home base score. Um, and it will boost your pets. The pets have different stats, and uh, you have to uh, increase the stats to able to challenge other pets. So you see here uh, are the different stats. It has pet power and health and stamina. And you have to walk your pet to increase the stamina. So it's kind of a reflection of your own health. And um, the pet power uh, is what boosts all your stats. So you can power up your pet. And then it becomes slightly better. And you're better able to compete against other pets so let's go out on an adventure. This is the location-based uh, map where you, when you move, uh, the pet will also move with you. And here you can collect different resources that you can then bring back to your home base, such as food and yeah, flowers, whatever. <laughs> and uh, here is a chest, so I can lock it up with uh, or open it with the keys that I found. And I found some tomato seeds that I can, for example, plant in my home base to grow food for my animals. You can also find uh, diamonds. This is the hard currency in the game that you use to um, purchase or adopt new pets and, and buy accessories. BitPet is all about uh, getting people to walk more. And uh, we made some game features to make this happen. For example, the, uh, this one where you mark territories on a map and you have to walk outside the territory to mark another one. And the more uh, uh, overlapping territories you have, the more pet points you get per territory. So it will incentivize you to keep moving. And the pet points, you use them to boost your pet, uh, which will make you able to win challenges against other pets. So you find other pets on the map, like here is a fox. And over there is a boar. So you have to walk to these pets to be able to challenge them. And we have some different challenges that are AR minigames. For example, 
here is the photo challenge. So the purpose here is to take a picture of the pets doing a certain pose. And these uh, pictures that you take, you can also share on social media. We have a few of these different challenges, uh, but later on we will add uh, more different uh, poses that the pets can do, on, and also some 3D objects that they can interact with. We also have a battle mode. So this is uh, where it's all about strength uh, and health. So it's a rock, paper, scissor game mechanic with two types of attacks and one defense. And uh, you can also pick up power-ups that will boost your stats like health and stamina. And we also have another AR minigame, which is Coin Run. Here it's all about speed and agility, so you have to pick up as many coins as you can in 45 seconds. And you can pick up power-ups, uh, so you can sprint longer and jump. And you can also attack the other player to stun them for a couple of seconds. Both the Coin Run and the Battle Mode, you can play in PvP. So this is an AI-controlled pet, but you can play against uh, your friend in PvP mode. So this is uh, multiplayer AR, which is not very common in games at all. So it's quite unique. So the idea here is that if you're nearby another BitPet player, both players will get a pop-up saying there's another BitPet nearby. Do you want to meet them? And if both players say yes, then it opened up, opens up a AR multiplayer room, and you can play together. And it's quite social since you're uh, playing at the same location. And if you win against another pet on the map, you can then place, uh, you can then um, unlock accessories and unlock new pets. And you can also place out your pet on the map uh, and control uh, a territory. And then other players can see your pet on the map and challenge him. And I come back a couple of hours later, my pet is still there. And now it's night time. It's been the two hours and gained 80 experience points. And you see it's now night time, so the environment is, has changed. It's more chill and relaxed. And at night, the pets will return home to your home base. And since he gains experience, he levels up. And you see that he grows in size when he levels up. So at level one, the pets are babies. And at level 10, they are adult. So they grow bigger. And also the proportions in their face change. And also the stats increase. So they become more powerful and more able to uh, win challenges against other pets. And then you can unlock a higher tier pets as you progress. During the day, you also do different uh, missions. So, for example, a steps mission you get every day. I walked 13,000 steps, I can claim it. And I did some other missions that I can claim. And every day, uh, you'll get a new steps mission that uh, is calibrated depending on how much you walked previously. So it will push you to walk a little bit more every day. And if you don't make it, it will go down. As I said, you can unlock new pets, so you can go to the pet shop and adopt something. So I can adopt a grizzly bear and call him Boo Boo. <laughs> and press adopt. And then he shows up in our home base, and you can see that the wolf is sleeping uh, behind him. And Boo Boo look ti looks tired too, so let's make him go to sleep. And now all the pets are sleeping and getting ready for a new day of playing a bit pet tomorrow. So this is what we made so far, uh, but it's still really, really early. And uh, today we pressed uh, publish on App Store and Google Play. So if you live in the Nordics, you can download it, uh, Finland, uh, Norway, Sweden, or Denmark. If you don't live there, you can still access it through our QR codes, uh, Android and iOS. You can scan them now if you want. And as I said, this is uh, uh, early in our journey. So if you want to keep uh, up to date with what we do and develop the next year, uh, follow us on social media. And you can access our Discord through our website. 
And we're now opening up a seed round. So we're looking for investors with experience in gaming. So if this sounds interesting, then you can come and talk to me and Alfinger. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you so much.